Are you always supposed to have steel inside of concrete? Not all concrete needs steel, but I think you could say all concrete would benefit from having steel. First of all, pretty much anything structural, any structural application for this concrete, like foundation for your home, for example, should definitely have steel in it. And the reason why, concrete is extremely strong. It has a very high compressive strength. It has a very low tensile strength. We embed steel within the concrete because the steel has a very high tensile strength, so then we can benefit from both. But what about decorative concrete applications? It's possible that you can make some things without having any steel at all, and it's not even a problem. It really is more of an issue for anything larger or anything structural, as I said before. For something small, like a decorative plant pot, for example, all you would have to do is make the concrete a little bit thicker if it wasn't strong enough. Oftentimes, adding steel doesn't provide strength in the way that you think that it might. For example, you might not want your plant pot to crack, and that's why you're thinking I should put some steel in there. Unfortunately, the steel doesn't do its thing until the concrete cracks. So at that point, are you still happy? Are you still, is this still a successful project that you're working on? Probably not, and you would have been better off to not have steel, but just make the concrete a little bit thicker. Concrete is such a deep world. It really comes down to each unique application as to whether you should be using steel or not, and if you are using it, how much you should be using. For anything structural, you should definitely be consulting with an engineer. Don't go and redesign the wheel with something structural and just try to figure out the steel on your own in terms of the grid spacing, how much to use, how deep the encapsulation should be. All of these things are best left to an engineer. But if you're into decorative concrete applications like I am, or working with concrete as a hobby, there's a ton of stuff that you're going to be working with that doesn't have any steel at all. Probably the thinnest that I, I would recommend to ever have any concrete application, including decorative, without steel in it, anything less than a half an inch is almost certainly going to fail. It's going to be so weak that it would just break in your hands. And something like that would need steel just so that you don't end up with two pieces in your hands. For the most part, all concrete benefits from steel. If there is a way in which you can integrate steel into this concrete project and not have it somehow detract from the finished product, then definitely you want to try to achieve that because undoubtedly concrete with steel embedded in it is absolutely superior to any concrete product devoid of steel. You just can't get away from that low tensile strength of concrete. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you.